high. Even the largest and most damaging wildfires nearly always begin with something much, much smaller, making it difficult to fathom how something so big could have started with something so small. But why do wildfires start, and how can they swiftly spiral out of control? In today's video, we'll see how wildfire starts naturally. So, without further ado let's start the video. Number 1 Lightning Lightning, more specifically cloud to ground lightning, is by far the most frequent cause of naturally occurring wildfires. Thoughts of lightning are frequently associated with storms that bring rain, this isn't always the case. Low precipitation thunderstorms could provide a light lightning show but little to no rain. Rain alone might not always be sufficient to put out the next fire. There is also no guarantee that rain will put out a potential fire because lightning can strike kilometers from the storm itself. Number 2 Geothermal Activity There are many locations in the US where volcanic eruptions and other geothermal activity can start fires. An intriguing geological occurrence known as a coal seam fire occurs when underground coal seams catch fire and burn for a very long time, often for thousands of years. Although the majority of these fires occur below, they can make their way to the surface and start fires in forests and grasslands. Number 3 Indirect Natural Causes Natural disasters like wind, tornadoes, and earthquakes don't directly cause wildfires, but they can have a secondary effect of starting fires by damaging or destroying utilities like power and gas lines. Number 4 Spontaneous Combustion Even though it is uncommon, spontaneous combustion can cause flames to appear to start without warning or for no apparent reason. There is a cause, of course, and it is typically an exothermic process that runs amok or a chemical reaction that generates heat. Number 5 Burning Debris Many individuals burn yard waste, including chopped branches and removed bushes, and while this is frequently lawful with permission, it can also be risky in some situations. If it is safe to burn waste or whether your backyard burn could start a wildfire depends in large part on the weather. For instance, the wind might allow a mound of burning yard garbage to quickly extend its flames into unfavorable areas. Number 6 Equipment Issues and Unruly Engine Sparks The development of the internal combustion engine and the mass production of other now commonplace machines may have advanced society, but they also posed a fresh danger to the world's wildernesses. This is because if safety measures aren't taken, a running engine might spew hot sparks and burn debris, which could be harmful if the machine is in a field or forest. The spark arrester is now in use, Although it is typically a small device, it plays a significant part in preventing unintentional wildfires. To prevent potential igniters from escaping, both inside and outside, spark arresters are also installed in wood-burning stoves and fireplaces. They don't completely prevent wildfires, but they do significantly raise the likelihood that a stray spark won't do so. Number 7 Lit Cigarettes Another typical cause of flames is smoking. It makes sense because they are undoubtedly burning and are simple to flick out of the way during a smoke break. But if a cigarette is carelessly thrown while it's still burning and sets a forest on fire, it might have disastrous results. Smokers must take extra care to avoid getting into problems when they are in the woods. You must carefully grind out cigarettes, cigars, and even pipe tobacco in the mud until you are positive they have been completely extinguished. Number 8 Unsupervised Activities Leaving kids unsupervised as parents pitch a tent or search the trunk for sleeping bags might not seem like a huge concern. But if the youngsters get their hands on lighters or matches, that can change everything. When there's a danger that fireworks could spark a wildfire, they should always be avoided. They're entertaining to blast off, but once they get going, especially the ones that fly into the air, it's frequently impossible to control what will happen if things get heated up. Number 9 Construction On a construction site, there are numerous activities that, under the correct circumstances, could result in the initiation of a fire, including drilling, welding, sawing, and running huge machines. But even seemingly innocuous, minor tasks have the power to ignite a forest fire. For instance, a rancher accidentally ignited dry grass in California in 2018 while driving a metal spike into the ground, causing a wildfire. Number 10 Industrial Processes and Accidents If something goes wrong, some industrial processes occasionally have the potential to start unintentional fires. An electrical malfunction or, an example, an explosion at a chemical factory. That's it for today. See you in the next video.